Hello everyone and welcome to the 153rd episode of the Top 5 Weekly. For those of you that are new here, this is a series where I take a look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam, analyze each one of the creations, discover their features and test them out here on Stormworks. Before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe button and while watching, let me know your thoughts of the creations in the comments below. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this week's episode. And starting this week's episode off with the first creation, we have the USS Hampton Roads CVA-50. Now this is meant to be a uh, aircraft carrier, of course, uh, it is based on a Essex class, uh, roughly around 170 meters in length, and now apparently it has quite a few cool features on there. There is a navigation computer system, there is also working catapults, there is an interior, there's a hangar, there is elevators, and all kinds of cool things. So let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, you can see straight away this is a large ship. It is really big. You can actually see the elevators coming up at the moment, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, just FYI, I did have to put infinite electricity to get this to work. Uh, for some reason, the rear half just wasn't connecting for some reason. Uh, there was no electricity in it. So all those guys that are struggling, I recommend just turning on infinite electricity and you'll get it to work. Uh, so straight away, you can see the detailing is spawning spot on on this creation i mean look at the detailing underneath here uh it's very impressive isn't it uh and a very nice looking aircraft carrier so straight away size wise very big uh very very big aircraft carrier and it looks really cool so we've got one two three uh elevators here i don't think the last one doesn't go anywhere uh, but the other two definitely do go into a hangar and there is a hangar in here So it's fully detailed out and also you have the tower here, which also does have full detailing in it, which is pretty cool um, And yeah overall, I mean really nice detailing shape looks beautiful Crate's done a great job. Maybe like to see this a little bit smoothed out in the future But I mean it's perfectly fine. You won't really look at it too much um, But overall I mean look at the detailing really nice Even here at the rear like look at the propellers <laughs> that looks really nice there. i uh, got some lights here for landing. Obviously, they've got one big runway over here for coming in for landing. I guess you could take off from here too. Uh, what else do we have going around? Looks like a spotter or a navigator there. Looks like we've got some lights there. Uh, we've got the catapults, two of them over there. And obviously, the main tower will come to that later on. Let's start with the catapults. So that's one of the bigger features on this creation. Two catapults over here and here. Uh, this one is an electrical connector, whereas this one I think is just a maggle that you use, and it's got some built-in tracks and things that go along there, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, here are the controls for it. So for example, this one, you imagine you have your aircraft over here, you get that connected, uh, you go and just launch it, and there it goes. <laughs> I mean, very fast. And you can actually bring it back in there. Now, there is a little bit of a blast hole there, which is pretty cool. Jet blast hole. Uh, you can go and lift up if you were doing a proper lift. And you can see the little connector coming all the way back. Quite nice. Let's go and close that off. I don't think you can close this, though. Uh, I didn't see any box or switch to close that. Maybe there's something up here. Uh, let's go around. Now, with the elevators, I also haven't found any way to put them up and down. And I looked on the deck here, I didn't see any buttons or anything to bring it up. Once again, I'm guessing there might be something up here. So we'll come back to those later on. Also a little bit of detailing on here, like some deck connectors. Uh, you can imagine you as a little tower to, or buggy to move your jets around, which is quite nice. Uh, a couple entrances all over the place. Uh, we also got a ladder, of course, a simple ladder, uh, which actually you can't really use, just there for detailing. And that's another thing is the detailing is really cool on this. There's quite a lot of detailing for the size of it. So it looks quite impressive. Uh, let's go through. So let's go and have a look at a few things. There are a few like these things. I have no idea what those do. I don't want to touch them in case there is like a sinking mode or something. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of those things around. So you can see the detailing. We're not going to go into all the rooms because this thing is massive. But I mean, like, look at the detailing inside of some of these rooms here. Uh, it is really quite nice. A little medical bed in here. I use a lot of XML stuff here and there. Uh, one thing I would like to do is let's go down into the hangar. So here we are inside the hangar uh there's a light switch yes there is nice white light switch oh, look at that that's nice isn't it very nice i've got some doors here you can oh, this one you can't but i know there are some ways you can walk through as you can see like it's little cap cat walkways and things around you can walk through here and there. there's like some hatches and some doors and things so some of these areas are accessible, some of them are not. As you can see, anything that's locked, you can't. That's because the creator has tried to reduce the uh, lag with physics and things like that. 
Uh, even now, I mean, it's slightly laggy, but it's pretty good. It looks like there's refueling here too, which is quite nice. Uh, let's turn the lights off just to get a performance back, and we're going to then start going up and see what else we can find. So that's a door that's locked. Staircases, um, looks like some type of XML edited stuff. That's fine. Or just normal door frame. I don't know what these use there. But uh, cool. Let's go and go through there. That's locked. All right. We've got a key button. No idea what that does. Cool. Uh, let's go through here. We've got a white light. We got uh, shop crew shelter. Okay. And through here, we've got just a door. Right. So we'll go through this door. That's another door. Uh, that's a flight deck washroom. And we've got flight deck control. All right. Passenger seat in there. I don't think this has any options. Okay. Still looking for the elevator control. I don't know where that is just yet. Uh, nothing to go up yet. I mean, we can get a little one there. We can go up to the next level. And let's see what we have up in here. Now we can go outside. Let's get some lights on. Uh, we can go onto the outside deck and have a little walk around. There's also some ladders here. Close this off. We can walk around here. It doesn't really go anywhere, but uh, still notice that you can come outside if you want to. Uh, into here, so this is um, a room with some controls for the navigation system and also for uh, actually driving the ship. So white lights on, we've got some stopwatches here, we've also got this um, navigation system. So apparently you have to enter this and then you have to wait for this to turn on. Um, so we're going to wait for that to go on. Uh, we can carry on through here, we've also got a navigation bridge. Okay, so that's where we are currently at the moment. Okay, we're at the helm here where we can move up and down. Looks like a white light. We can turn, we've got some beacon lights. We've got nav lights, masthead lights. Okay, so those are, should have turned, or at least should have turned those lights on there. I think, yeah, look lights, AC ram lights, beacon lights. Yeah, should have turned those on. I might need to move a bit first. Uh, let's carry on going through here. What do we have in here? So we've got a captain's seat. We've got uh, radar here if we want to, wind speed, direction. We've got a passenger seat here, with just like an observation post of some sort. Um, navigation bridge, all right. That's pretty much about it from up here. Shaft and the RPMs and things. Okay, let's see if we can go up again. So actually even got a little cabin inside here, which is quite nice. All right, cool, let's see if we can go up again. So is this ready yet? Guess not. I mean, the creator did say, we enter take a drain and da da. I was thinking the instructions it says so about a minute. So after you press that off, about a minute that should come on. So, okay. Um, let's jump back up again. Let's see what we have in here. So we've got flag country, whatever this means. Cabin, and we've got a door. Uh, flag pilot, and then door, and then door, and bridge. Okay, so this is a flag bridge. Admiral seat inside here, compass ball. And that's pretty much about it. And I think this is empty. This is what the credits is coming soon part. All right, let's have a little walk around the deck here. Cool, let's carry on going down. Anything else? Not really. All right, so I think there is just the one room that I haven't checked out. Actually, I think there's this room here and then also this one up here. So let's drop ourselves right here. Uh, so what's inside here? So Platt Island, all right, got a little lens. Oh, that's pretty cool camera up down left and right nice all right we've got a light in there too nothing else and uh, let's go up now let's see what we have inside here you do run into hitting your head every now and then but it's manageable uh so inside here we have got what looks like a air boss and mini boss okay jump in there got some lights runway lights we got spotlights if we want them on let me just get all this on why not as you can see, wow, that's a lot of spotlights. That's pretty cool though. It does look really nice. Okay, let's get some of those off before we lag out. I will leave the deck lights and things on. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. I mean, I still haven't found an option for us to control the actual hangers and the elevators for those hangers. Didn't see any options to control it. Looks like some type of just like spotting deck over there. Don't see any other stations or anything like that. I mean, you would expect either for it to be on the elevator or it to be in one of these control rooms, but I didn't see it in any of the control rooms. Unless I completely was blind, but I mean, I'm almost certain that we looked through all of it. Um, all right. 
Fair enough, uh, let's carry on. I mean, shoot, there's not really anything else to look at. I mean, I think that's pretty much about it for the creation. I think it's a really cool creation. Uh, got a lot of detailing on it for its size. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty fun to actually play with, which is quite nice. Let's go and take a little look in here. Is there anything in here that's locked? Anything around here? Walk our way through there, it's locked. What's this? Firefighter equipment if you need it. Locked. All of it locked. All right. Cool. Guys, so we're going to move on to the next creation. Uh, very cool. Definitely recommend going and checking it out. It'd be fun to try and land some planes and, you know, use the catapult system. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the UH-4 Heron. This is a medium utility helicopter. Now, with it comes a few different hardpoint attachments. So you can actually add on whatever you want on there, whether it's missiles, cannons, uh, extra fuel, a bunch of cool different things. Uh, along with it, it is got a very long user guide. Apparently the creator is quite easy to use a helicopter without it, uh, but it is nice if you want to go into that detailing. So let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the helicopter, uh, yeah, really interesting design, as you can see. So coaxial rotor at the top, and we got a double rotor blade here at the back. I think I've seen a very similar design to this, or maybe even this one for my helicopter challenge. But uh, yeah, nice looking helicopter. You can see we got our jet engines on the other side, very nice from the front here. Currently, this looks like it's loaded with some fuel pylons and also some anti-aircraft missiles, if I'm correct. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go and take a little other walk around. I'll get a flashlight on, inspect this. We've got some doors to go to the cockpit. Uh, it looks like we've got some starting doors here. We'll open that we'll go in there in a few minutes. Some more attachment points if you want to. All right, looks like we've got maybe refueling. Yep. Very nice. I like that. Close it off. Some flares. Colors. Another little hatch here at the back. Exactly the same on this side. All right. More hardpoint connectors. And that's pretty much about it. Let's go and get inside. So it's jumping up. So it's quite a couple different levels before you get to the actual flight deck. Uh, so inside here, it looks like we've got a bunch of seats, XML edited. I've uh, got the sliding door, which we spoke about earlier. We've also got a little monitor here. Some monitor on the map. I've uh, got cabin lights. Oh, that's quite nice. I like how they go strong and then dim. That's quite nice. I've uh, got night mode also, which makes it green. A bunch of equipment in the ceiling. Also your jet compressor here, uh, which makes it quite nice and compact. Some more seats on the other side. Looks like we've got a left seat, right seat. Uh, I don't know which one. We should go to i'm gonna to go to the left one because why not uh and oh, wow okay hello there's a bunch of things on the roof there can you see that it's rps count guessing um avionics re, re reserve battery main battery systems engine that's a reserve battery i'm guessing and then Oh, you can change. So if you like, this is, I'm guessing, idle. And this will be flight. And that's maybe like heavy duty. Or maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should I should be right with that one. Let's put on that. Uh, we've got some flight computers here. So artificial horizon map and not artificial horizon. And you can change it to weapon list, landing camera, and another camera of some sorts. Cool. And here you've got fuel temperature and missile oh these are the hard points with the fuel if i'm correct yeah so fuel 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 and then this is missile rack and you can actually go up and down i love to see i'm happy to see that people are using these like weapon screen slash hard point screen more and more which is really nice to see um cool we also got some hot keys we've got fire which is fire the cannon if we had a cannon attached we obviously don't uh, so we can't fire a cannon. Fire weapon one, two, three, launch chaff. Uh, and that's pretty much about it, if I'm correct, in terms of like controls and things. We are good to go. We can obviously increase our RPS if we want to. And can we take off? Yeah, we can. Look at that. Nice and easy. What about landing gear? Is that like automatically closed or? Let's go quite high and see what happens with the landing gear. Okay. So nothing on landing gear. Is there an option for us to get the landing gear so it's a landing camera we also have our other camera night vision up and down maybe winch camera uh all right let's go back to that um and 
map. Here, temperature, humidity, no. Battery systems, I mean, oh, there we go. So I didn't know we can change that. Okay, so this is utility, we've got cabin lights, we've got nav lights, we've got smart lights. Okay, it's nighttime, oh, that's pretty cool. Heater, probe, distress, landing light, uh, control, disengage prop, feather prop, I'm guessing, precise, landing gear, brake, wheel control. Okay, so there's quite a lot of things that I didn't see earlier on inside here. Uh, and then here is set RPS and set speed. Okay, so 300, and then we can set a speed. So that's the rear. Okay. Interesting. Send that off. Very interesting. And then, yeah, this is pitch acceleration. So I'm guessing just after a certain amount of pitch, it goes into into this flight mode. Okay. Interesting way of doing it. We got weapons and things, so fire one, two, three. I'm guessing we need to select some stuff first. So you got drops over here. You see all your missiles. So how would you get your weapons and things ready? I'm guessing so we got radar missile rack. You don't want to drop the whole rack, uh, but we do want to make sure that we select. Uh, there we go. Perfect. That's how you fire it. Uh, so you would get something on your screen and then fire one. There we go. Two. Okay. Cool. And three. There they are. Very nice. Flying very straight, by the way. We are lopsided now because we obviously uh, are you <laughs> obviously I fired everything on the other side. Uh, I mean, if there was in like a gyro systems on here, it would probably counter that. I'm guessing this, the creator's got some custom stuff on, uh, hence the reason why. Uh, let's just go and switch it. Is it two or three? Let's three. The blue one means. Yes, there we go. One, two, and three. Actually, it tells you how many you got. That's pretty cool. And we should be level off now. Yeah, so pretty cool helicopter. Very interesting. Very fast. There definitely is a custom gyro in here of some sort because the creator's got these propellers here at the back. But I mean, having that makes it super quick in terms of speed and things. Uh, if we go back to our artificial rise, you can see we're just pitching it now at the moment. But when you go into this other mode, look how fast you pick up speed here. Like, wow. You can really pick up speed and you can really put some distance if you're doing search and rescue missions and things like that. So that's really cool. Lovely, lovely creation. Very unique and I like it. Nice. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Zizos Natural Disasters Announcement. Now this is a Lua add-on that you can pretty much just add on to a new save. And what does it do? Well, it announces any of the natural disasters that happens in the world. Now by default, I think we only get uh, the missions that announce things or tell you what's happening in the world. Whereas you have random events that kind of just like surprise you and like creep up on you. So this will alert you of any of those things. So for example, if we were to go into the actual custom menu and we were spawn something in, let's say we were going to spawn in a volcanic eruption, for example, or we were going to spawn a tsunami, whatever it needs to be. Uh, now, because I've spawned that in, in theory, we should be getting an announcement fairly soon using the new or using the Lua scripting. Uh, and we should also get a notification on our map too. I mean, uh, eruption might take a few minutes for it to happen because uh, it goes through a couple different states but let's go and actually do another one so let's do a whirlpool for example we'll spawn a whirlpool in we'll also spawn in the eruption which should be happening slightly soon uh we can all spawn in some meteor strikes we can spawn a whole bunch of things as you can tell my map is currently empty at the moment but we'll check on that in a few minutes time what's going to spawn in a meteor and you can see straight away here we go We've got um, an incoming event that's happening, extreme weather. If we're going to open up our screen straight away, you can see there's a 
notification on our screen of what's going to be happening. This is magnitude one. This is, of course, the meteor strikes that are coming in, as you can tell. Uh, and then as soon as those other things are also happening, uh, it will go and do notifications for those two, whether the whirlpools or anything else. Uh, so it's a nice little add on. I think it's very good quality of life um, improvement. Maybe it's something the devs are going to add on in the future. Who knows? But it's a nice little add on to add on the game. You guys know I love add ons that uh, improve the quality of life when you're playing with Storm, especially in Korea or something like that. So that's really cool. So that's pretty much the creation. Really cool. Let's go ahead. Let's move to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Union Pacific Big Boy 4014. Now, this is meant to be a representation of the infamous Union Pacific 4014 locomotive. Uh, now, this looks really cool from the workshop. I mean, it looks highly detailed. And I know Steam Locomotives is always popular, uh, and I always enjoy playing with them. So let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, I mean, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I think Creator's done a fantastic job. I, I really like the different shades of gray slash black on this. That's very nice. Instead of just painting one color straight through, I mean, he's used different shades here. Oh, really nice. Really beautiful locomotive. Really nice. A lot of XML pieces here and there, I can tell. Yeah, but look at that. Spot on. I think Gray's done a fantastic job with this. Uh, let's head towards the rear here. Looks like a coupling. Yep. Uh, what else? Let's go up with these ladders. Are these... These are ladders. Don't remember seeing these type of ladders before. I'm guessing... Okay. I can see what the crate has done here. They've used XML edited pipes and barrels and things to make it look really cool. Ladder system. I like it. Uh, let's go up. Even got, yeah, like XML edited spotlights and things. Uh, very nice. You can pump water in if you want to. You've got your coal here at the back. Even got a hopper uh, so you can load more coal into it. Very nice. Okay, let's go and climb up here. So I'm guessing you would just jump or maybe use a handle. Yes, you would use a handle. Let's go and pull ourselves up in here. All right, so straight away we've got coal box over here. So we want to grab some more coal we can. We've also got our doors. Uh, probably should have closed the coal box first. Uh, it's got our doors here and straight away we're inside. Uh, we've got a vent here to get more air. Nice. Uh, lights in here too so we can actually see what we're doing. I got a, a rear headlight switch. We've got tender lights. We've got throttles. We've got brakes. We've got reverser. We've got a window that opens and closes. Cool. Uh, cylinder cocks, okay, bill rate, dampener, and another window on this side. This is the engineer seat. All right, I mean, water injector, it's nice. I mean, you can full on do whatever you want, really, with this. This is nice. Ignite, you can leave it on, apparently. Okay, so uh, there is a little bit of starting procedure. We need to get this ignited. Uh, it's a dampener to level one. So let's do that. Get that on and set a bill rate to 0.15. So we'll get that set to, there we go. Uh, watch the boiler temper until it hits 100 degrees. <laughs> All right. So we're going to wait until the temperature gets to 100 degrees, I guess. I've uh, got brakes, increase. So where is our temperature? Lights, water level uh, over here. So boiler temperature has to have 100 degrees on it. Turn the water injector on to add water to the boiler. There we go. So that water is now being added to it. Watch the pressure gauge, stop building up, turn the injector off. Uh, pressure is, where do we see that? That's reserve, uh, reserve steam pressure. Coal box, fire temperature, water level, speed. Did we see anything about got reserve steam pressure? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the one that Craig is talking about. Adjustable rate lever so you don't uh, put too much pressure in. Start slowing down the pressure accumulation. All right. We also got some drain, boil rate, we've got dampener. All right. Let's make sure we've got everything on. We've got throttle, of course. Uh, cool. We've got reverser. We've got brakes, increase, decrease. Uh, I mean, let's just go. I don't think brakes are activated at the moment. So we can probably start putting some throttle on here. Go full throttle. Okay. Brakes decrease aha uh -huh, the brakes were on there we go 
cool so that's brakes now going full on uh pressure is pretty good actually let me just keep an eye on that and probably yeah just probably keep an eye on that but there we are off going wow we're actually going really fast i wasn't expecting us to go that fast oh, look at that beautiful mechanics the creators use there to get the wheels like that oh that's beautiful Spawn. Those are actually not real wheels, by the way. We haven't got anything like that in Stormworks at the moment, but I know maybe we'll get some stuff like that in the future uh, from developers and new train wheel sets. But I mean, that's beautiful. And there actually is a real boiler and stuff inside this train, which is really nice. The crates using it. not just like an engine that's Im imitating, imitating all this. Really nice. I want to get the lights on. The front lights. Where do we get the front lights on? Bent. So we've got tender EOT lights. Is that possibly? It does look off, doesn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. We have stopped, by the way. Um, get some water in there. Let's get throttle up again. Uh, yeah. I mean, guys, this is a really cool creation. Definitely recommend you go and play around with this. Have some fun. I mean, so cool. Look at that. Actually, it's moving quite a bit there. Oh, we have exploded. I'm not managing my st my steam and everything properly. Should have probably managed that better. Um, but yeah, guys, as a quick just look at this. I mean, this is really cool. Really cool. I think Kratos done a fantastic job. A little detailing and things in the side of this. There is a fire now. Um, I think no, there isn't. Just our boiler. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Great jobs to create on this one. Definitely go check it out. Uh, let's go ahead let's move on to the last one for the episode and moving on to the last creation of the episode we have the workhorse model 1 hcc now this is meant to be a uh, six jet engine VTOL apparently capable of transporting containers around the world now it's also got some harnesses on there uh for rescue systems i mean it just pretty much can do anything you want it to do uh it's just got a heavy water cannon there obviously just for i don't know I don't know what, what, what you need that for doing missions, but I mean, why not? I mean, I mean maybe some AI is coming up on you. Uh, so yeah, really cool. Let's go ahead and spawn this in and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, I mean, very interesting design. It Very interesting design, very futuristic. You can see the jet engines, one, two, three, four, five, six, actually numbered. Uh, and you can see underneath where we're gonna put, where you could put uh, car containers. You can always stack quite a few of those underneath. Oh, that's really cool. A little walkway there very interesting sign i uh, got a door there uh looks like auto cannon systems over here yep there's your big auto cannon with a bunch of ammo i mean wow uh looks like the main flight controls there too uh let's go inside here so we're going to close this off uh we do have a full castle okay uh we've got night lights on we got equipment in here we got a little ladder system beautiful uh let's carry on going up what do we have in here so more equipment uh more equipment uh even got a bed in here got i'm guessing oh wow another hatch to go up even further okay we'll come back to that uh pilot seat we'll come back to that too we've got night mode got lights on off uh you got this little walkway so that's where you about uh you're above the cargo you got a bunch of winches here got a little screen here maintenance panels equipment got lights on very cool bunch of seating in here this is really nice you can actually go down to that level now oh okay so got medical equipment here maintenance attach okay so that's just for repair work and stuff uh what is this guy oh hello it's like a little computer that's cool uh we can head down here and in here we've got oh wow bunch of harnesses and stretchers and all kinds of cool though ammo too and weapons door okay it kind of opens here at the back oh that's really interesting and then you can just like push this out i'm guessing yeah so you push it out oh let's do that so you have an option door and then you got harness control override i can't press it i think we need some electricity for all of this stuff first before we can do anything we've got the master harness also so we can use that to go master in out arm five is in art yeah i definitely think we do need some power so we'll get that on uh let's get that door closed oh uh, let's go back up and we're going to walk our way across oh wait, i did want to check what's above here 
So I'm guessing just more maintenance hatches. Yes. Maintenance hatch, maintenance hatch, uh, maintenance in theory. Uh, more lights in here. I can walk through here, lights on. Yep, bunch of like controllers and Lua stuff. Cool. All right, and we go back through this place. We can actually go through a top hatch if we want to uh, and some more stuff here if we want to do anything. All right, let's go back. Let's see how this thing flies. Okay, cool. So pilot seat goes and rotates around. Nice. Uh, there is a, I think it's a PDF guide to how to use this. I'm going to try do it without that. Um, I think it should be easy enough. Couple of lights, sure. Enable power, enable monitors. I reserve power, got master arm. I guess that's for the weapon system. Unlock the turret, sure. So that means you can move the gun around. Landing gear if you want it. Maggle, landing gear also. So we can turn that on off. Uh, if we're maybe, you know, parked on a hill or something. Uh, looks like we got air refueling, clear the waypoint systems, we've got spotlights, strobe lights, landing lights, nav lights, we've got master start, start engine one, okay so that should all be starting now because we did the master start in theory, we got uh, auto hover, autopilot, position hold, clear, um, WNS pitch, interesting, uh, radar map screen, Bunch of screens in front of us here. I probably need some throttle, uh, forward thrust, engine throttle. There we go. Let's get that up to about fifty percent. Uh, we got air refueling. We got what is this? This is I think my waypoint system. I uh, don't know what that is. And this looks like camera that you can probably switch. Waypoint system and then alt hold. Also, if you want that, so much going on inside here. All right. Uh, fire auto cannons will get safety off already. Fire auto cannon space. Yep, that is definitely an auto cannon. <laughs> nice. Uh, unlock the turret. So that means. Oh, so it's actually mouse aim. That's pretty cool. So you can aim that with your mouse and shoot it off. That's really cool. Let's turn it all off. Uh, let's go and increase our throttle and we're going to take off here in a few seconds. You also got a gyro you can disable. So there we are. We have lifted. To go a little bit higher here. Nice. All right. So there we are. Uh, we can get our landing gear, which is that one, closed. So that goes and folds away. Nice. And there we are. Obviously, we can have some containers and things underneath us. Uh, all right. Alt hold. If we want to enter that in, I mean, alt hold, you can probably enter it like there. 400. Done. You can activate that one or press here. No. So you press one. And then it shows up here. All right, that's quite smart. Uh, you also have position hold, so that will just keep your exact position, won't move you. Uh, I can turn that off, and then we also got the waypoint system. So we like here, throw it in there, and I can correct it to mine, which will log it. Yep, and then you can put a few of them in there, uh, which is cool. Nice. All right, and we can activate our autopilot, which is three. And there it goes, and it should just move us to those waypoints. Looks very smooth. I like the lights at the back. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a lot of lights there. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Oh, the creator's done a very good job with this. This looks nice. Uh, we also can do forward thrust. Let's get forward thrust on full. Yeah. And there we go. And we're now we should be going to those autopilot waypoints. Ah, oh, nice. Toggle WNS control. Okay, I'm going to throw, I want to get all these things off. So if we take alt hold off and we take uh, autopilot off, we are now just cruising with the throttle on. And then WNS, we can then obviously pitch the beetle up and down. A and D is to roll it and then left and right, steer left and right. All right. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Up and down, I'm guessing is a collective. Yeah. Cool. I mean, guys, that's pretty much about it i mean it's just very easy to use and very nice i, I like it i think it's really cool and it, i mean we can probably even throw a position hold on right now but uh yeah i mean toggle wns control press five what does that do then it's exactly how we had before wasn't it or is that now doing my thrust might be doing the thrust instead but uh, yeah, uh, a lovely creation. Definitely recommend go playing around with this. Maybe very useful for like career if you're trying to transport missions and things. Um, but yeah, I mean, really cool. Really, really cool. Guys, we're going to end it over there. As always, if you want to check out any of the creations that we had a look at in this episode, I will leave them linked in the video description 
as always uh, and go give some love to those creators. If you have enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button if you don't miss one of our future content. And until next week, we'll see you then.